Hello, I'm Taz and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be starting a new little series that I've decided to begin on my YouTube. So if you know me, you know that I love to build. It is my favourite thing to do in The Sims, despite the fact I am enjoying gameplay a little bit more um, nowadays. However, building in The Sims has always been my main passion. And quite often in my Twitch streams, I get a lot of people asking for tips for beginner builders, like what I would recommend, how to start a build, etc, etc. So we are going to be starting a tips for beginners in The Sims 4 series. Now for the first episode we are going to be starting with the structure, the shell, how I would build a shell in The Sims 4 and let me know what you think of this idea of the series down in the comment section below. Let me know if this is something that you would find useful or if you think others would find useful. Please do give the video a like if you do enjoy it and if you find it helpful and hit that subscribe button for more Sims tips from me. And let's get started on today's video. Okay so as I said today we're going to be starting with the structure and the shell of a sims build now every time i start a build i kind of decide what kind of style firstly i would like to go for because the style of the build is going to piece together the build and it's going to form how you want it to look essentially there's a lot of styles of houses in general like you've got your modern house you have got like a detached house you've got a um semi-detached house like these kind of houses that are in the world you could have you could have like townhouses, cottage core theme, contemporary, farmhouses, like a colonial style. Um, I've even seen lots of people doing, say, like Tudor, Victorian style of houses. There's so many styles of houses that you could apply to your Sims builds, but the shell has to reflect that kind of style because like if you say say you were doing a modern build and you did a shell and started building the house and it was looking more to kind of oasis springs maybe like mediterranean style then it probably won't turn out too good in the end bear in mind i am not a pro <laughs> i'm not a pro at all these are just tips that i've learned and kind of picked up on over my time in building in the sims form so i've taken the great pleasure of loading into pinterest and i've just done a quick search of a modern mansion exterior so there are a lot of different mansions here all very beautiful like i really do like the idea of modern mansions but when you look at these kind of builds there are a lot of different styles so there is like the blocky theme so this is like made up of different squared blocks and then you've got like this kind of style like this is really really luxurious really really lovely and it is a modern mansion but it is a very different style to the blocky theme now let's say we decided to build kind of like a farmhouse whether it be like a colonial style of farmhouse or um like a craftsman style there are so many different variations of ways to do it but they all kind of follow that same kind of structure if you have a look at them you can kind of see the the it, it comes out a little bit a lot of them have that that decking space going around as well um so you would kind of follow a similar theme here so let's try and have a go at building a few of these styles that i have mentioned okay so what a lot of people do when they first start building in sims i have been a victim of it myself you kind of just start out with like a square with not a lot of depth to it so this is what a lot of first builds in the sims look like no shame to anyone that does build like that but there's not a lot to it you know there's not really a lot to the build itself um it's just a square at the end of the day now if we were going to build say a farmhouse the way that i would do it is i would start off with a square um and then you would add squares to it to basically like bring the house together so you start with your first square and then you add additional squares to that house so say we've got this farmhouse here right i'm gonna add the flat square tool now because i want to create like a front deck in space i then want to add an extra room coming out to the side kind of like this maybe Maybe. In fact, we want to do a whole little section over here as well. I also decided that I wanted to have like a little front area here with like a window. Maybe this could be on the interior, a little seating space. And then upstairs, I know that I want to have a um, little decking area going around. So we are going to raise this onto a foundation. So I know that there's going to be some bits of roof in here, but I do want to have an upstairs space where we can do bedrooms. So I start with a box or like a rectangular area. And then once again, I want to add to that. So I'm 
I'm gonna do like a little area like that. On this side, I'm gonna leave it pretty simple, but on this side, we are gonna do a little bit more depth and add another kind of squared section. And then this is kind of the structure that we have to work with. So I could then add, um, I know I wanna have like a wraparound deck in space because a lot of farmhouses do have that kind of wraparound um, deck with like a covered roofing area. And then this is our shell of our farmhouse. I know it doesn't look like a farmhouse at the moment, but once you add um, roofs to it, once you add a little bit of color, then you can add more. It will really fill it out and it will start to look like your desired house that you want it to be essentially. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this into my library and I'm gonna show you how we would then do a modern house. And in the next video, I will show you how we would roof the houses. So for now, as we're just working on the structure, we will just show you that. We'll save it to our library and then in the next episode, Episode, we will do a um, roofing tips. Okay, so now here's how I would start doing a modern house exterior. Now, as I showed you earlier, a lot of modern houses can be very different. So there's all different variations of a modern house that you can get, but I'm gonna try doing a bit of a blocky kind of modern house. Do bear in mind, modern is not my usual style. So this could go many ways. Okay, so we're gonna do, um, as I said, like that blocky kind of style on top of each other. We're then gonna have a little area over here, maybe this is like an entry space like this you never really know like this is just me messing around and trying different things but they could have like an open entry space here maybe we've got like paneling like leading up here um some sort of textured block i guess perhaps it even hangs over a little bit there maybe maybe we'd even um we'd even have some sort of thing coming up here and what i would probably do on this roof which we're not going to start yet but is we'd probably do some sort of like platform feature so so it thickens it out maybe even different leveled platform features up there as well and you could even add some of these like boxy structures away from the build itself as well and perhaps have some sort of balcony or even just connect it Kind of like that but as you can see already this style looks completely different to our farmhouse style because the structure would just be the complete opposite there might be certain elements of it such as like a deck in space that would you know overlap but it's not always gonna be the same it's it's always gonna have that completely different structure no matter what and for now we will upload this to my library and we will come back to this and we'll work on um how we would roof this and roofing like a boxy modern house I find it to be so so difficult to roof in the likes of like a farmhouse or like a colonial style house like so different because you're not really necessarily always going to use the roofs that are given to you okay so I think for now what we'll do is we will have these two options so our kind of farmhouse style of build and our modern style of build and we will stick with these for now and in the next video I'll kind of show how I would roof these these particular buildings and as I said they're going to be completely different to each other but I think these will help like even if it just helps one person with learning how to structure a building or whatever um then i'm just happy to have helped but yeah as you can see two very different style of buildings um with the modern it's very much like similar in the sense that you're adding more to it so you start with a shape and then you add more and more but it's just finding you know the unique kind of um style and going with it um so with this you, you know you could even do overhanging buildings because it is a modern style so like it, it's kind of gonna be a little bit like that a lot of them um, do have that because I don't know, really know much about architecture or whatever, but some of those modern builds do have like overhanging buildings and the structure is really like unique and really, really cool, but it's always quite blocky. It is always quite squarey and blocky. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed episode one of Beginner Tips for Building with me. And today we kind of talked about the structure and the shell of building on The Sims 4. If you did find this helpful, then please do give the video a like, pop a comment down below and let me know if this did help you. The next episode, as I said, we're going to be talking about how we would roof the different structures and going with the styles of the structures as well, like how we do it for a modern build and how we do it for like the farmhouse. So look out for that and hit that subscribe button if you want to be the first to see the video and i hope that you enjoyed it thank you so so much for watching take care and i will see you in another video taz out <laughs>